Ratchet and Clank have been a staple of the PlayStation console for decades. The name of the heroic duo is as iconic to Sony as Mario is to Nintendo. Little wonder when Sony needed to show off the charm and raw, unbridled power of the PS5, they chose Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart to kick things off. And boy, did it kick. Developed by Insomniac Games, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is the 17th game in the Ratchet and Clank series. Rift Apart marks Insomniac's foray into the multiverse and features not just the dynamic duo of Ratchet and Clank, but also their other dimensional counterparts, Rivet and Kit, as well as a collection of kooky, multiversal characters. The game was lauded for its ultra-realistic graphics, swashbuckling platforming, and action-packed sci-fi gunslinging. IGN and GameSpot both gave it a 9 out of 10 review, and it also received a slew of nominations and wins at the BAFTA Game Awards. Is PS5's Poster Boy or Poster Lombax all it's crack up to be? Let's find out in today's review. Okay, starting off with the story and narrative. The game begins with the parade being thrown in honor of the Pinamous heroes. During the ceremony, Clank announces that he has repaired the Dimensionator, a device capable of opening rifts between alternate dimensions. Ratchet can now search for other Lombaxes and his missing family. However, Dr. Nefarious briskly attempts to steal the device, leading to Crank inadvertently shooting it and causing interdimensional rifts to appear. Our heroes are sucked into the rift and find themselves in a world quite like theirs, except with a female Lombax named Rivet taking the place of Ratchet and Emperor Nefarious, the alternate version of Dr. Nefarious, ruling the dimension with an iron fist or claw or whatever you want to call it. It's up to Ratchet and Rivet to fix the Dimensionator and stop Emperor Nefarious from conquering not just their universe, but every other universe in existence. Ratchet and Clank's story may not be a very unique one, especially now that everyone in their granny has ventured into the multiverse. First Spider-Man, then Doctor Strange, and, and even the DC Universe have tempered our thirst for multidimensional stories. Yet, Ratchet and Clank's writing, dialogue, and voice acting are so top-notch that the story never felt stale or long-winded. Ratchet and Clank has the visuals, voice acting, and vibes of a Pixar movie. So much so that at times I forgot I was actually playing a game. It's chock full of both subtle and over the top comedy from zany characters like Dr. Nefarious, the robotic mad scientist we can't help but root for, and also Pierre Lefer, the space pirate. Despite wearing its Disney and Star Wars influence on its sleeves, the game still manages to handle some heavy plot points that hit me right in the feels. These include Ratchet's desire to find his missing family and, but more particularly, Rivet's relationship with her new partner, Kit, especially after she discovered that Kit was the one responsible for the loss of her right arm. Needlessly to say, Ratchet and Clank's story is fun and expertly written. I loved every bit of it and I think you will too. Ratchet and Clank's gameplay is similar to those of previous iterations of the series. Playing either as Ratchet or Rivet in different missions, you melee, shoot, and platform your way to completing the various objectives the game throws at you. You're also joined by your trusty sidekicks and companions, Clank and Kit, depending on the mission you are playing. But you can't control Clank, and he doesn't join you in combat. That's right, Clank has the time to be a special agent, and his one spin-off game but won't even lend a hand to deal with a few nefarious troopers go figure there are 10 unique planets in the game some can only be explored by ratchet and others as rivet in other words you can't manually choose to exchange one character for the other during missions like in gta 5 but that doesn't matter so much since ratchet and rivet are equipped with essentially the same gear in fact there isn't much difference between the two playable characters besides appearance and voices. 
I would have loved to see a bit more variety between the two characters gameplay wise, perhaps even having a unique set of weapons for each hero. Some would argue that Ratchet uses a wrench for melee attacks while Rivet uses a hammer, but I think that's just splitting hairs. What they did get absolutely right about the gameplay is the platforming and transversal mechanics. Playing either as Ratchet or Rivet, you get to grind, dash, and even wall run while exploring and collecting bolts. But by far the most impressive addition to this mechanic is the introduction of the Rift Tether, which is a gizmo that allows you to zip across levels by pulling yourself into rifts that appear in the game. These platforming mechanics make for fast and fervid gameplay that's extremely fun and satisfying. Now let's talk about the combat. Rift Apart has the same gung-ho approach to combat that we've come to expect from the series. There are a whopping 20 weapons to collect during the 11 hour long campaign. This robust gun cabinet consists of classics like the Glove of Doom and Warmonger, but also includes new weapons like the Tapiri Sprinkler. You can choose any of these weapons on the fly using your weapon wheel. This certainly comes in handy, especially in light of the numerous boss battles you take part in, including against giant robots, a giant robot centipede, and eventually Emperor Nefarious himself. In a giant robot. <laughs> Geez, I just realized that this game has a lot of giant robot battles. Not that I'm complaining. In short, combat in Rift Apart is exhilarating and the only shame is that it has to end eventually. Though the game isn't very difficult, especially for an experienced gamer, however, it ends up delivering a super fun and satisfying experience. Up next is graphics and performance. As I mentioned before, Rift Apart boasts graphics so stunning it looks like a Pixar movie, maybe even better. What's even more remarkable is how the game manages to create its picture-perfect visuals despite retaining cartoony aesthetics. Every planet you visit feels like a scene pulled straight out of Star Wars, and I'm talking about the good ones, not the prequels. The character and creature designs are top tier, especially Rivet, she looks crazy cute. You know, by Lombax standards. I'm not a furry, I promise. What's more, the PS5 offers a 4K graphics mode of 30 frames per second and then a performance mode of 60 frames per second. So not only does the game look good, it runs incredibly fast as well. All these qualities plus zero loading time on the PS5 make Rift Apart one of the best looking and playing games of the current console generation. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Okay, so let's talk in terms of replayability. I'll be honest here, due to its level of difficulty and lack of co-op or multiplayer options, Rift Apart has a low level replayability, especially since the side quests are a bit sparse. This takes nothing away from what an incredible game it is, but just like a Pixar movie, I will play it once more and probably never look back. Just keeping it real. Get off me, Let's talk about the game's spirit. Insomniac Games clearly set out to create an incredible, fun-filled adventure that the whole family can enjoy. Not only does the game have great gunplay and intriguing missions, but it's also full of heart and life lessons. Insomniac games are on a hot streak of successful games, especially with Ratchet and Clank and the Spider-Man series. I for one cannot wait to see what they come up with next. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is an awesome action adventure game with loads of laughs and emotions to boot. Its stellar graphics, well-written story, and exciting platforming have given gamers even more reason to get on the PS5 hype train. I thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. Therefore, I'll be giving it 4 out of 5 stars. Do you agree or disagree with my review? Let me know what you think in the comments. We make awesome videos like this every week, so please like and subscribe 
Ring that notification bell to get regular updates on new videos. Thanks for watching this one, you guys. We will catch you in the next one. Ha, 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 ha.